Have you ever wanted to play golf with your friends, but because of a worldwide pandemic, you were all separated? Well, now is the solution to your problem. It is a golf club that allows you to play a virtual game of golf with anyone in the world using a physical circuit board type golf club. From there, this golf club will update its status to a website, which can be viewed by anyone anywhere in the world. So you and a friend can each have a golf club and be playing a virtual game of golf and both see the updates on the computer. This great device is powered by a rechargeable lithium battery. It has four tactile buttons to manually input data, a convenient screen so you can see what angle you're setting and see what's going on when you are starting the game, a microphone so any loud noises will mess up your shot, four LEDs to know what color your player is, a buzzer to play a cool tune when you win, an uh, accelerometer to see how far you swing, and a powerful ESP32 microcontroller controlling the entire game. After many long hours of code and long hours of soldering, our device works. So let's see this thing in action. Tanner, tech, Tanner, tech, Tanner, Tanner, tech, Tanner, tech, Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. This is the uh, video demo video for our golf project. So we're gonna start at the home screen, and the first thing we do is we just begin pairing mode. So this lets us connect users from devices. So we're just gonna connect one device. I'll just be player B, I think A and C, as the names, but just long press to start. Choose a number of players, I'm just gonna choose one player. I'm gonna enter the player's name, so I'm gonna just enter player number B. So I press it to select it, and then long press to choose the next thing. So I have player B. And then once I press it, you'll see it pop up on the screen. Yeah, you'll see A, C, and B are now on the screen. So we can finish the pairing mode. You notice and now all the lights that we all have on? All the lights turn on to like show the that the game has started. So we'll start it at first to be easy, and we'll turn the weather off. And this is something we can update mid-game if we want. So we'll update that and start the game. So it's going to send us to the first hole, which will just load in a second. Awesome. There we go. So all our, our little players are over here, and it's cycling through the different colors we have. You'll see the light blue matches kind of the lights we have going on here. Yeah. So the first thing that I'll do is calibrate it. All right. So the first thing it says to do is swing the max putt. So it's not like a drive, but it's like the maximum putt. We don't want to like someone to like swing and break this. So you're gonna swing hard shot, and the next one it says is to putt as gently as possible. So this is like for calibrating each user's like power. The next thing to do is now actually shoot. So I'm going to set the angle first. So I'm going to set it to be somewhat like straight. And now I'm going to say, take my swing, right? To uh, show it's gone. Ooh, there yeah, you go. And see you see mine. the animation is, is kind of working too, which yeah. is also pretty cool. I'm kind of on the I edge of the green beautiful now. shot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit a light shot here. So Must have hit a bush in the rough. Yeah, so what happens if you're in the rough and you're near trees, like the darker sections, that sometimes that, like, the darker color will make it. Um, think that you're hitting trees and stuff, and that's really it. It's a greater effect on your oh, shot. Oh, I it made it. Okay. And you're also going to actually put yeah. it on hard mode and turn the weather on. Which is going to make this about impossible to make it in the hole because it's so difficult. Come on. Something else. Yeah, with hard and weather off. Okay, you'll oh, see. beautiful. We both did kind of easier shots, so we just kind of moved up slightly there. I probably should whack it too hard on this one. I'm whacking it. Yeah, with the hard setting that. and the wind, if you hit it really hard, it has a good chance of shanking and going into yeah. out of bounds. Okay, I've made it to the fairway. Give me a shot. Oh, I okay, here we go. Zero angles. You this is going to be a nuke. Well, yeah, no, I'm just like barely. <laughs> okay, oh, it was also a bit of a random angle change, and that just okay, you'll see. The fact I, that, like, there's that was a pretty good shot there. I mean, it's the all the way back up there. Really well right yeah, it's kind of you can kind of see it gliding across. The all right, screen. all right, this one should be good. Oh, give me it! I hit it really hard. I probably, I probably missed. I might have overshot it. I didn't overshot it. Okay. No, Ooh, I didn't there we go. It. Okay. So close. I think that's me. But I'm still I'm, in the fairway. I'm the darker one, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, this is gonna have to be a really soft pot since I'm considerably close to the. This one is an incredibly hard hole because of how close the green is. Oh, <laughs> never mind. And now no, I'm on the no. other side of the green. Yikes. You overshot. Oh, we're one. both on the other side of the green. Alright, let's see if we can get it first. This project was a great way to finish off my first year at MIT. I really had a lot of fun making this with my friends, but there's a lot of code that went into this. There's over a thousand lines here in Python code. This is the back end. Uh, there's even more code on the ESP. It was fun to write, but a little bit annoying sometimes trying to fix bugs. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.